it talked about Polycarp, and in Come school on. I have a book about the early church. Yeah. And a Roman emperor told Polycarp to say about the Christians, away with the godless. He turned to the Roman crowd and said, away with the godless. Amen. Talking about it then. Yes, he did. Great man of faith. Hebrews 11 and 1. When you have it, say amen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Come faith on. is things hoped for, but not seen. Amen. Here's an example, Matthew 9 and 20 through 22. which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years, came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be made whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Amen. Um, she said within herself, I may touch the hem of his garment. Come on. And I will be made whole. Amen. That's faith. Come on. Faith is what touched Jesus. Yeah. In the last verse we, we read, he said, Thy faith hath made thee whole. Come on. Remember that. Remember Hebrews chapter 11. We're going back there. Later. Come on. John 20, 24 through 29. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. And Jesus had just rose from the dead and has appeared to his disciples all but Thomas. Yeah, them all. And the other disciples therefore said unto him, talking about Thomas, We have seen the Lord, but, but he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. Come on. And after eight days, again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. And reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. And be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Amen. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. Come on. Thomas said, I have to see it to believe it. That's the way most of the church is today. Come on. Jesus said, because, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Come on. It says, it said that in Hebrews, faith is a substance of things hoped for, things not seen. Yeah. Things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Thomas had to see it to believe it. Come on. Amen. When Peter stepped 
out of the boat, he had faith, or he wouldn't have stepped out of that boat. Come on. When he took his eyes off of Jesus, his faith grew weaker, and that's what caused him to sink. Yeah. He had lost some, his faith had grew weaker because he took his eyes off Jesus. Come on. 1 Kings 17, 8 through 16. First Kings seventeen eight through sixteen. <clears throat> and the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, Zarephath which belongeth to Zidon. And dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to su sustain thee, feed thee. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine ha hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make thee thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son, make for thee he and for thy son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not rest, Waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah, and she and he in her house did eat many days. And the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail according to the word of the Lord which he spake by Elijah. Amen. When he first came, when he first came, he said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water vessel. And she went and she went to get it. And as she went, he said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel, a piece of bread in thine hand. Come on. She said, I have only enough for me and my son. But she went and got him the water and bread. She Come had on. faith. Yeah. <clears throat> Because, verse 14, For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Amen. She had enough till the end of the drought. Yeah. Because of faith. Come on. Because of faith, she had enough till the end of the drought. Amen. Faith, as we talked about Peter, he kept his eyes on Jesus, but when he took him off of Jesus, his faith grew weaker, and he began to sink. Amen. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen.